Jack and Tom are back again today, chatting about a topic that hits close to home for a lot of people, finding the perfect new apartment. Jack, a seasoned city dweller, has moved more times than he can count, while Tom, on the other hand, is more of a stay-put guy, but is about to jump into the apartment hunt for the first time in years. They're going to dive into how to start the apartment search, what matters most when choosing a place, and how to navigate the sometimes overwhelming rental process. Stick around, and as always, feel free to drop your own apartment hunting tips or experiences in the comments. Alright Tom, first things first, when you're looking for a new apartment, how do you even start picking the right neighborhood? You going for a shorter commute, or just hoping to find a spot with cool cafes and stuff nearby? Oh man, it's a balance. I mean, yeah a short commute is nice, but let's be real, after work, I want to walk to a good coffee shop, or grab dinner without trekking across town. That vibe matters you know? I usually start by looking for a neighborhood that's got a little bit of both, close enough to work, but not dead after 6pm. Yeah, you don't want to live in a ghost town. But, when it comes to budget, what's the first thing you'd cut to make the rent work, or do you just wing it and figure it out later? Oh, I try not to wing it too much, especially with rent. I usually look at amenities first, like, do I really need that building with a gym, when I barely work out? Probably not. So, I'll cut that first. I'll even compromise on square footage if it means living in a better area or saving some cash. But if I'm honest, I always end up spending a little more than I planned. What about you? Same. I mean, at the end of the day, I'd rather live somewhere that feels right, even if it stretches the budget a bit. Speaking of which, do you browse listings yourself, or do you get help from an agent? Nah, I like doing it myself. I'll scroll through rental apps for hours, it's like a part-time job. The trick is not getting overwhelmed, because there's always another listing popping up. But I have to admit, word of mouth has helped me find some of the best spots. A lot of the time, the gems aren't even listed online. Totally. And what about the extras, like parking or a gym? Are those deal breakers for you, or do you just care about finding a cozy spot to call home? Honestly, parking is huge for me, especially if the street parking sucks. But other than that, I just need the place to feel like home. The extras are cool, but not something I need to sleep over. What about you? Same here. If the place feels like home, I'm good. Everything else is a bonus. Speaking of bonuses, or maybe nightmares, do you ever check out the landlord or property manager online before signing anything? You don't want to end up with a nightmare situation, right? For sure. I always Google the landlord or property manager, and I'll ask around if I can. A couple of bad reviews can tell you a lot. There's nothing worse than having a place you love, but dealing with a landlord, who's impossible to reach. I'd rather know upfront what I'm getting into. Smart move. So, be honest, do you read the whole lease, or just skim it and hope for the best? I'm not gonna lie, I mostly skim. I mean, I know. I should read it all, but unless something jumps out as weird, I just sign and move on. Though, I've heard of people getting burned by sneaky clauses, so I try to at least check the important stuff. You read through everything? I try, but I'm guilty of skimming too. Just enough to make sure there's nothing sketchy hidden in there. But what about visiting the place? Do you go once and call it good? Or do you check it out a couple of times to make sure it's not a total nightmare at different times of the day? Oh, I visit more than once, especially if I'm serious about the place. 
you never know what the vibe is like at night or on the weekends. Sometimes a place looks great in the afternoon, and then you come back at 8 p.m., and it's a whole different scene, noisy neighbors, weird lighting, all that. How about you? Exactly. I always check a place at least twice once during the day, and once at night. You can get totally different vibes, depending on when you're there. And what about factoring in utilities and Wi-Fi when you're budgeting? You just hope for the best, or do you actually plan for it? I try to plan for it, but let's be honest, those bills always end up being more than I expect. I'll estimate, but utilities can really add up, especially if you've got a place with old windows or bad insulation. Wi-Fi's pretty standard, though. I just find the best deal and roll with it. What's your strategy? Yeah, utilities are tricky. I try to factor in a little extra just in case, but it's always a bit of a surprise. And Wi-Fi. As long as I can stream Netflix without buffering, I'm good. Speaking of planning, do you have all your paperwork ready before applying, or are you scrambling to get everything together last minute? Man, I try to be on top of it, but it's usually a scramble. Proof of income, references, it's like a mad dash to gather everything. I've been burned before by not having all my stuff together and missing out on a great place because of it, so now I try to stay organized. How about you? Same. I learned the hard way too. Now, I make sure everything's ready to go before I even start looking seriously. It saves a lot of stress. One last thing, do you ever try to negotiate rent, or do you just go with whatever price they throw at you? Oh, I negotiate. I mean, it doesn't always work, but it never hurts to ask, right? Especially if the place has been on the market for a while. Sometimes you can get them to drop the price a bit, or at least throw in a free month or something. Do you negotiate, or are you more of a take-it-or-leave-it kind of guy? I'm all about trying to get a better deal. It's amazing what you can get just by asking. Worst they can say is no, right? And, if they're desperate to rent it out, you might score a sweet discount. All right, I think, we've covered just about everything. It's all about finding the balance, right? Exactly. It's a mix of budget, vibe, and making sure you don't end up in a horror movie situation with a bad landlord. I feel like I've got a game plan now for my next move. Hopefully, I won't be apartment hunting again anytime soon, though. Well, Tom, that was a solid chat. I think we covered everything from finding the right neighborhood to making sure the landlord isn't a nightmare. Definitely feels like there's a lot more to think about than just finding a place that looks nice. Yeah, for sure. It's all about being smart with your choices, budget, vibes, and making sure you're not locked into something sketchy. Definitely a lot of balancing going on. Exactly. Anyway, thanks for sharing your thoughts, Tom. It was a good one. And to everyone watching, we'd love to hear from you. What's your apartment hunting strategy? Share your stories in the comments below. Yeah, drop your tips or let us know if you've had any crazy landlord experiences. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We've got more great conversations coming your way.